The Voyager probes have completely transformed how we explore space. Even after more than 45 years, these remarkable machines continue their journey through the darkness of interstellar space. Despite their limited memory and slow communication, they've become icons of perseverance, enduring the frozen vacuum where light fades into distant stars. Launched in 1977, both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 have traveled far beyond the solar system, entering zones untouched by human technology. Their data, sent from unimaginable distances, continues to surprise scientists. Recently, Voyager 1 sent back confusing signals that didn't match expectations, creating a puzzle for NASA engineers. This raised concerns about the spacecraft systems and its ability to continue the mission. Voyager 1 blasted off on September 5th, following Voyager 2 by just 13 days. Their primary mission was to explore Jupiter and Saturn, focusing on moons and rings. But they went far beyond, revealing details of the Milky Way's edge. They've traveled farther than any object humans have made. Their findings include volcanic moons, icy satellites, and stormy atmospheres. Voyager 2 gave us humanity's first close look at Uranus in 1986 and Neptune in 1989. These were stunning moments. Neptune's blue atmosphere and violent weather were recorded in vivid images. Voyager 2 found moons like Triton, which displayed icy volcanoes and cold geysers. NASA extended the Voyager's lives by turning off non-essential systems. By shutting down heaters and saving power, Voyager the second of May continue working into the 2030s. This would allow even more deep space data to reach Earth. When the mission ends, it will mark the close of a groundbreaking era in space exploration. From Jupiter's storms to Neptune's frozen plains, the Voyager's map previously unseen worlds. One early surprise was Europa, with its smooth ice shell possibly hiding a liquid ocean. Another was Io, a volcanic moon of Jupiter bursting with eruptions. These discoveries showed that distant moons are not dead rocks, they're active, complex, and possibly habitable. Voyager 2 found 10 new Uranian moons, detailing their rocky makeup and dynamic orbits. On Neptune, it recorded 1,000 miles per hour winds and giant storms. Triton, Neptune's largest moon, turned out to be among the coldest places in the solar system, with volcanoes that sprayed nitrogen gas instead of lava. Voyager 1 flew near Titan, Saturn's hazy moon. Its thick orange atmosphere intrigued scientists. These encounters sparked new theories about the outer solar system, challenging prior beliefs. Even traveling at immense speeds, both Voyagers captured detailed images from millions of miles away. On Jupiter, they revealed massive red storms, some larger than Earth. Io's volcanoes made it the most volcanically active object ever found. This forced scientists to rethink how moons work beneath their icy shells. Moons like Europa and Enceladus might have subsurface oceans, offering potential habitats for life. Voyager 2 also studied Miranda, a moon of Uranus with a twisted landscape. It discovered Uranus's magnetic field was strangely tilted, unlike those of Jupiter or Earth. At Neptune, it photographed the great dark spot, a swelling storm like Jupiter's red spot, Voyager 2 also found six new moons and confirmed Neptune's faint rings. After passing the outer planets, the probes continued studying the heliosphere, the bubble of particles and magnetic fields surrounding the solar system. Crossing the heliopause, where solar influence ends, they entered into stellar space. There, the Voyagers detected rising cosmic rays, reshaping theories about what lies beyond the sun's reach. These insights have changed our understanding of the universe's structure and the forces shaping our galaxy. Though space is silent and cold, the spacecraft's instruments continue to report subtle signs of energy and motion in the cosmic void. Despite their age, the voyagers keep transmitting thanks to the Deep Space Network, a global system of radio antennas tuned to pick up even the faintest signals. Each message takes over 20 hours to reach Earth, yet the information remains priceless. Built with 1970s technology, these spacecraft still function. Their plutonium power sources, once expected to last a few years, continue supplying enough energy to run essential systems. Each signal they send home defies the odds and celebrates the engineering that made their survival possible. 
On board both spacecraft is the famous Golden Record, a time capsule carrying sounds, music, greetings in many languages, and images from Earth. These were meant to introduce human life to any intelligent being that might discover the probes. Now floating beyond the sun's light, these records are humanity's first attempt to communicate with alien life. The voyagers are no longer just tools of science, they're ambassadors of Earth, drifting among the stars with messages from our planet. They've inspired new missions, such as the James Webb Space Telescope and Europa Clipper, which follow the paths carved by these pioneering probes. They've proven that robotic exploration can reach unimaginable distances, showing that bold dreams backed by solid engineering can break boundaries. Even now, low-power signals from Voyager reach Earth from billions of miles away. These faint beeps still excite scientists, who interpret each as a triumph of human spirit and technological genius. From those signals, we learn about plasma waves, radiation belts, and the mysterious interstellar medium, 